Welcome, this is item number 30 for the spring 2014 test release items for 7th grade TCAP math. The question says, Taylor makes lemonade using 3 fourths cup of water for every 1 fourth cup of lemon juice. If she uses 6 cups of lemon juice, how many cups of water should she use to make this lemonade? They love, they're beating us to death with these types of problems. If you've seen any of the other videos, you've probably become somewhat familiar with the idea of a 2, 3, fourth analysis for proportion. If I have two ideas or two concepts, whatever, three numbers, and I'm looking for and I need to find the fourth number, then it's probably a proportion. So based on the fact simply that there's three numbers in here, at least I'm going to try it. It doesn't always work out to be a proportion, but in many cases it does, especially uh, from what I can see on this test. So here's the number, here's the number, here's the number. So that criteria is met. Two ideas. It gets a little muggy in this one because they mention lemonade, they mention water, and they mention lemon juice. What I have to do to determine whether or not I can get two items and pull a proportion out is to look at the wording of the question. The question says, if she uses six cups of lemon juice, how many cups of water? does she use to make this lemonade? So really, Taylor makes lemonade using this and this. It doesn't really have anything to do uh, with the lemonade. The lemonade is just kind of the, uh, it's like the window dressing of the problem. But the real two ideas would be water, H2O, and lemon juice. And I'm just going to use LJ because there's no chemical compound for lemon juice but that I'm aware of. It's very acidic. Um, so that's looking good. To find the fourth number, I need to see if I have two ideas about this, one about this, and I need the other one. So, um, and I'll make this, so it doesn't look like one J, I'll make it LJ. Um, so, water, lemon juice, lemon juice. So I have two for lemon juice, one for water. So yeah, I need the fourth number about water. This is a proportion. So all I'm gonna do is set up a ratio or fraction, whatever you wanna call it, for the recipe. So this is the recipe fraction, ratio, whatever. So I'll put three-fourths of water over one-fourth of lemon juice. Now for the other side of it, for whatever she makes, so her lemonade, that's some bad handwriting. Um, I need to figure out where this six cups of lemon juice is going to go. And if you've seen any of the other videos about proportions, the big deal about these problems is that you need to put like terms on the same side of the fraction, so either in the numerator or denominator. I've used discussion about the idea that you probably you need to uh, deal with the idea of like a, a dog-cat hotel. You don't want to keep all your dogs and cats mixed together. You either keep all your dogs on the top floor or on the bottom floor, and then the cats go on the opposite. So if I have six cups of lemon juice, lemon juice is on the bottom, six cups of lemon juice goes right there. That's just how it goes. And then I'm looking for X. I'm looking for water. That's what I'm trying to figure out. How many cups of water do I need to make the lemonade? Uh, so from here, it's just cross products. So I'll do six times three-fourths. There's a billion ways to do it. And the easiest way for me is just to do it this way very quickly. And by the way, you can feel free to change three-fourths. I usually hate fractions and fractions, but if you want to put three-fourths and change it to 0.75 by doing three divided by four, and then you want to change one-fourth to 0.25, do it. I'm going to put it in as a fraction, but it doesn't mean anything. Either one of those forms will work just fine here, especially since all the answers are whole numbers. Whatever floats your boat, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, four and two fourths, which if you didn't have a calculator like mine that simplify it takes forever to simplify down, you'd find out is four and a half. So the first one is four and a half. Set that equal to this times this, so one fourth x. Now to get rid of it, one fourth and x are being they're touching, so you really need to get rid of one fourth by dividing by one fourth, or I mean just on an aside, you could make this since this is really x over one, you could make it x over four and get ready to divide by 4 by multiplying by 4, but that's a whole other math lesson for another day. So let's just do what it says and get rid of times 1 fourth by dividing. I don't want to overcomplicate things for no reason. 
that are doing a good enough job themselves. So divide by 1 over 4, hit enter, and I get 18, if you can still see it, uh, 18 as my final answer. So right there, 18 cups. Uh, just as a point of reference, if the relationship for water is that much more than lemon juice, and you have six cups of it, there's no way the first two answers made any sense. You could also use the fact that um, really it's just three of these for every one of these. So if you have six of these, you just do six times three. So you didn't even need to think of it that much if you didn't want to. I was just showing you a procedure that you can use all the time. But if you want to use the fact that, okay, well, it's one here, and lemon juice is six, and it's one times three is three, you could just use six times three. It's equal to 18. So that's totally fine, whatever you need to do. The other answer choices, I'm guessing, this is a division. This is not paying any attention. Um, and this one is if you use uh, 6 times 4 for some reason, because you're trying to do lemonade as opposed to doing the relationship of 1 to 3. So they're just trying to trick you. So make sure you mark everything down in a nice orderly fashion, and you can get the right answer. It's not advanced rocketry.